everyone, welcome back to another virtual Sunday School service. Today's lesson will be about where or who our source of life comes from. Let's read the summary. Our source of life. God had created the earth and plants and animals. Everything was ready for his special creation. This creation would be different from everything he had created so far. This creation was to be made in his own image. God didn't just speak this part of creation into existence as he had until now. He had a new way. He took some dust from the ground and formed the shape of a man. Then God breathed into the man's nostrils. It was the breath of life. And the man, Adam, came alive. God put the man in the garden he had planted. And the man worked in the garden and took care of it. God knew it wasn't good for the man to be alone. He would make a helper for the man. God had a new way of creating this person, also made in the image of God. This time, God made the man fall into a deep sleep. While he slept, God took one of the man's ribs and used it to make a woman. He brought the woman, Eve, to the man. The man realized the woman was a person like him, created by God to be his helper. God created people, male and female. Then he blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Genesis 1 verse 28 God created all of creation before He created people. He prepared a special place for them to live and work and love each other. He made them different from all other creations. They were made in His image, and He had a friendship with them. They were His own children, created to be loved by Him and to love Him in return. God had made everything they needed to live. He was their source of life. Are you done reading the summary? God created everyone to be in His image. That includes you and me. He is our source of life. Let's move on to the activity. Let's start on the first activity for this week. What does it mean? Complete the following to learn about our source. Source. The place, person, or thing from which something comes. The source of a river or stream is a place where it starts. Who or what is our source? Let's do these. My name. Write your name here. If you are a boy, cross out the girl. If you are a girl, cross out the boy. When I was younger, I... Write something about yourself. I was born on... Write your birthday here. This tells you who you are. Let's move on to the second part. Color the puzzle shapes with triangles in them. Then, write the letters they form on the lines below to discover important information about yourself. Let's find the triangles. Here's one. Now color in that shape. That gives you the letter I. Now write that here. Do the same for the rest. Let's move on to the last activity for this week. A special creation. Decode this message to see what was so special about the creation of people. Match these images to these images down here. Let's do the first one together. They were made in... Find this image up here. Gods. Right, gods, right here. Find this up here. Image. Write that here. They were made in 
God's image. That's right. All right, that's it for this week, guys. Don't forget to remember your memory verse. God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Genesis 2, verse 7. Bye! God bless you!